Hello everyone and welcome back to another World War 2 guide where today we're going to be taking a look at all the sniper rifles in the game and seeing which one is the best so let's get right into the guide shall we? So currently there are four sniper rifles in the game, all of them except for one being bolt action. We have the Car 98K, the Lee Enfield, the M1903 and then we have the semi-automatic Carabin. So before we get into details, let's first take a look at the shots to kill test results, shall we? Basically, to test this, I lined up a test dummy at what I would consider to be a long-range shot, and then I counted how many shots it took to kill the dummy by shooting them in the head, in the body, and then finally in the leg area. Here's the results. So as you can see, all of the bolt action rifles perform pretty much exactly the same in terms of damage over the same range and in the different body areas. The carabin, being a semi-automatic rifle, is quite understandably nerfed a little bit, though I can see some people out there who might want to try a long range marksman rifle instead of going all out with a bolt action. In terms of the one-shotters, the Lee Enfield, the Car 98K and the M1903, we need to take a look at how quickly they can fire, how much ammo they hold, and since all of the bolt actions are extremely similar in performance to each other, we'll also need to take a look at some of the attachments that are on offer for them. So from what I've seen from testing, the only differences between all the bolt actions in World War II multiplayer is that the Lee Enfield has double the amount of ammo than the Car 98K and the M1903. It's possible to get extended clips for these rifles, but all it does is extend the clip by 50%, which adds 5 more rounds to both the Carabin and the Lee Enfield, and just 2 more rounds to the Car 98K and the M1903. So even without the use of an extended clip attachment, the Lee Enfield is able to carry way more rounds in the gun which also affects the reserve ammo. Since reserve ammo is always 5 times what you carry in the gun, the Lee Enfield is able to carry much more reserve ammo than the Car 98K and the M1903. All the rifles are able to be equipped with the exact same attachment except for the Car 98K which has an extra nothing but iron sights attachment. Whereas with all the other rifles you have to either make do with a full scope or a 4 times, which is kind of a bad thing if you just want a single shot rifle with high damage without a scope. They also have the ability to be equipped with rapid fire, which ultimately doesn't really do much unless the rate of fire really matters to you. The effect is pretty much the same on all of the guns. Speaking of fire rate, not only does the Lee Enfield carry more rounds in the gun, but it also puts them down range slightly faster than the other two bolt action rifles. So at this point, I would have to say that the Lee Enfield is a bit overpowered compared to the Car 98K and the M1903. If it isn't already apparent, I would have to say that the go-to sniper rifle in Call of Duty World World War II is the Lee Enfield due to its high damage, double size clip compared to the other bolt action rifles, and also the fastest rate of fire out of the bolt action rifles. Whereas the Carabin makes for a great long range marksman rifle with semi-automatic capability allowing you to make repeat shots which can help you out in a pinch. In any case, uh, let me know what you guys think about the sniper rifles in World War II. Do you agree with what I've just said? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Pyron Gaming channel for loads more videos coming to you very soon. See you around everyone.